The Bemisel Dental Clinic is Atlanta's only totally free, all-volunteer run dental facility for adults who are indigent, at risk, and marginalized by the community. We provide these adults with comprehensive oral health, with prevention, diagnosis, treatment, as well as some wraparound services for the things that we're not able to provide, but our valued community partners do. The value of all that service each year is over $4 million. But at the end of the day, the story is about each patient who comes through our door. Philip is one of those patients, and we're so glad we've been part of his journey. Growing up in North Carolina, I swam on the swim team. My mom and dad were your typical parents, Boy Scouts. Cub Scouts, baseball, football. My parents divorced and I would never have thought that. That was the beginning of me dabbling and experimenting with alcohol. It wasn't until life further went on that drinking became a problem for me. I was 39, 40 years old. The woman I was with left and the house was empty and she was gone. I stayed in the house for five days drinking myself to death. A friend of mine came knocking on the door and pulled me out, and he tried to help me for a couple years, but I, I, I could never see it. I had to eventually move in with my mother, and then after six months of there, my mother said I had to get out, and she took me to the Martyr Rail Station and gave me $5. I went to the liquor store, by the rail station and bought liquor that night and uh, slept in the woods. And that was the beginning of my homelessness. For six months, begging in the streets of Atlanta, sleep at Grady in the emergency room and then on uh, church doorsteps. And I would sit at the airport and then they started recognizing me so I figured if I had a bag, they would think I'm, I'm getting on a plane. So I would go to the baggage claim and I grabbed a bag. A Delta employee stopped me and got charged with interfering with luggage, which is a felony. That sent me to prison. While I was there, a gang of youth, they attacked me with padlocks tied to their boot strings and they hit me in the face with a padlock. Dennis at the prison wanted to pull my teeth out, and I said, no, I gotta have my teeth to get a job. So they stayed in, but they were all loose. When I got out of prison, I lost those teeth too, to the point where I had no teeth at all. Philip first came to the clinic in late 2011. He was someone who had an eagerness to get treatment, Philip started working with Dr. Joseph Looper. Over the course of many visits, Dr. Looper made dentures for Philip. I never smiled. My personality was truly affected because I couldn't smile. I was ashamed of myself. And once Dr. Looper got my teeth in, I'll never forget the day as long as I live. I had nothing but thank you. Thank you for saving me. It changed my life. Changed my life. I felt like Philip Malone III again. I've been clean and sober, going on five years. Over the last couple years, I put myself through finance school, and I went and got a job with Bill Holt Mitsubishi. They're giving me the opportunity to go into the finance office, which I've always wanted to do. My mom, she had absolutely no trust in me. I now take care of my mom. My mom depends on me. I go over there twice a week. We're so glad to be able to share Philip's story with you. We get to see the success many of our patients have while they're here, but we also get to see him when he comes and brings his mother. And what he shares is that it gives him great pride to know that once he was a patient, and now he's helping another gain access. When I came in here, you had four squares on the front where people give. So I got to get to work really hard because I want one of those squares for Phil. I want to be able to give to this place like you so freely gave to me.
Our legacy in the community is strong, but the need that we have is even stronger. There's a lot of work to do. We are getting better every day as well, but we need your support to make that happen.